For the piece poster, you're going to be coloring with either crayons, colored pencils, or you could use a marker if you would like. Now, you could use all three mediums if you want, or you could concentrate on just using one, one medium. Um, I'm going to show you my expectations for coloring. If you're using a marker, um, you're going to want to have a scrap paper available because water-based markers tend to smudge when your wrist goes over it. So if I'm uh, coloring this space right here, and I'm, um, then I come over here to color something and my wrist goes over it or if I have any moisture at all on my hand, it tends to cause um, a little bit of smudging. So when you're coloring with marker, I want you to do your absolute best. Your absolute best might entail you outlining the space first. Now I'm thinking about the shape that I'm coloring in. It's square, so my lines are nice and vertical. Um, back here, I have kind of an angle, so I'm going to even change the direction of my um, marker as well. When you're doing marker or any of the mediums, you want to make sure that there's no white spots at all when you're finished. When you are working with crayons, I want you to use layers. So here um, I have a cylinder and I'm going to give kind of a base color right now. I'm doing this vertically with my coloring motions, but then up here on the top I'm going to give it a circle because that's the, the shape that I'm coloring in. So I want to give that oval. I'm going to go in with a second layer. Oh, I can't even see that. So I'm going to go even darker and kind of add a second layer on here. Now I'm adding, I'm sorry, I'll go here. Now I'm adding this in a motion that kind of echoes the shape of the cylinder. And I'm thinking about where my, my light source is coming from. So I'm imagining that it's coming over here and that the shadow of the cylinder would be over on this side. The important, here, important thing here is to make sure that you're using your medium, filling up the space, um, and making sure that you're doing your best, staying inside the lines that you have created. Now we'll talk about creating this sphere. And I'm going to start out again with my base being just a vertical. I'm not really thinking about being neat and tidy yet. I got the center and now I have a little bit smaller coloring strokes as I get closer to the edge so that I'm sure not to go out of my space. I'm gonna imagine the sun, uh, the, sun the, the light source coming from the same direction and that I used started out with my lightest color. That's a good rule of thumb. Now I'm moving into a little bit darker and I'm thinking about the shape, the direction that I'm coloring. So you see my coloring strokes uh, having more of a curve to them now. And I'll go to my darkest color and really down here, increasing the, the value. Okay. Using layers is really going to help out, make it look more three-dimensional, make it look more like a middle schooler colored this instead of elementary. So when you're coloring, I want you to keep these things in mind um, for your piece poster.